problem number two in figure below solve for the area of square so first I redraw the figure Square root of 17, 2, and then 5. So I call this four corners of the square A, B, C, D. So I call this A, B, C, and D. Okay. So we know that this angle here is 90 degrees so I call this theta 1 and this one theta 2 okay and then I will draw a hidden line a perpendicular hidden line wait I call this point O I will draw a, a perpendicular hidden line to uh, line AO so with length same with same length to AO of 2 so okay then the end point of this hidden line I will call this point E then we connect point O and point E by a hidden line okay so this is two okay so if if we have here we have a right triangle with two sides equal so therefore this will be 45 degrees and this also will be 45 degrees okay and this one here the angle here will be theta 2 because 90 degrees is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2 okay and then we connect point E and point B by a hidden line also connect okay so we can now find the uh, hypotenuse of triangle AOE so in triangle AOE by Pythagorean theorem so OE squared is equals to 2 squared plus 2 squared so OE is equals to 2 square root of 2 Okay. OE. So the length of of this line will be two square root of two. Now comparing uh, triangle ABE and ADO. Okay. We will compare this. Comparing triangle ABE and triangle ADO we notice that AB is equals to AD and that is S because all sides of the square are equal and that is S so AB and AD is equals to S and AE and AO are equal and that is equal to 2 AE and AO is equals to 2 okay. And then angle BAE 
that is theta 2 dao that is theta 2 so therefore angle bae is equals to angle dao is equals to theta 2 so we we found out that triangle ABE is equals to triangle ADO. So therefore, DO is equals to BE. This one here. BE. So then DO is equals to BE. So this will be uh, square root of 17. Okay? So now, in triangle BOE, BOE, we use uh, cosine law to find this angle here. We call it theta 3. Okay? So in triangle BOE, so, using cosine law to find theta 3, so use cosine law to find theta 3. So, we apply. So, square root of 17 squared is equals to what is OE? OE is 2 square root of 2 squared plus OB 5 squared minus 2 times 2 square root of 2 5 cosine 45 degrees oh, uh, theta 3 cosine theta 3 okay Now, we look for cosine theta 3. We look for theta 3. And then here, cosine theta 3 is equals to 17 square root of 17 squared minus uh, 2 square root of 2 squared minus 5 squared over negative. 2 square root of 2 times 5 okay negative negative okay so cosine theta 3 is equals to this is 17 minus 8 minus 25 over negative 20 square root of 2 so this will give you a negative 16 over negative 20 square root of 2 so we can cancel this negative okay now you look for theta theta 3 is equals to the inverse of cosine 16 over 20 square root of 2 so therefore Theta 3 will give you 55.55 .55 degrees or or 55 degrees 33 minutes okay now in triangle now we can look for the length of AB because we know theta 3 we know this angle 45 degrees so we add now in triangle AOB we have uh, we compute first this the total of this so 45 degrees plus theta 3 is equals to 45 degrees plus 55.55 degrees will give you 100 
point fifty five degrees. Okay, so we can now apply cosine law. So therefore, a squared is equals to this triangle AOB. So the opposite of this angle here is S. That will be our C, C squared. So S squared, and our A and B would be A O N O B. So two squared plus five squared minus two times two times five cosine one hundred point fifty five degrees. Okay. So therefore, solving s squared using our calculator, we get 32.6619 square units. Or 32.66 square units. This will be our answer. Now, if you want to find out the uh, length of uh, the side of the, the square, so we can solve S equals to the square root of 32.6619. Um, therefore, the length of the side of the square is 5.71. 51 units okay and that's it